Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Today we are going crack password with Aircrack Ong step by step. Aircrack Ong is basically a network software suite that has been crafted to achieve the following objectives. Packet sniffing, attacking, replay attacks, deauthentication, fake access points, via packet injection testing Wi-Fi cards and driver capabilities, capture and injection, cracking weapon WPA slash WPA2 Wi-Fi routers, Note that the present tutorial is not an exhaustive guide, rather it is intended to build some basic skills to test your own network security and get familiar with the concepts. The attack outlined below is based on a passive technique, ARP request replay attack, and it focuses on Debian-based distributions, assuming you have a working wireless card with drivers already patched for injection. Aircracking can be installed on a Debian-based operating system by compiling the source code. For more details, you can visit the official website. Installing required and optional dependencies. Below you can find instructions for installing the basic requirements to build Aircrack Eng for Debian-based operating systems. Ensure that Aircrack Eng is installed on your system, if you don't have it. For Kali Linux, usually pre-installed. Bash sudo apt update and and sudo apt install Aircrack Eng for Ubuntu Debian. Bash sudo apt get install Aircrack Eng. You need a Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitor mode and packet injection. Identify your wireless interface, bash if config. Look for your wireless interface, for example, WLAN 0. Enable monitor mode. First, stop any processes that might interfere, bash sudo airman and yang check kill. Then enable monitor mode, bash sudo airman ang. Start WLAN 0. Check the interface name again, for example, LAN 0 mun. You need to capture the handshake when a device connects to the Wi-Fi network. Start scanning for networks. Run error dump ung to see nearby networks. Bash sudo error dump ung wlan0 mon. Identify the BSS ID, MAC address, and channel CH of the target Wi-Fi. Capture traffic from the target network. Now focus on capturing packets from the target. Bash sudo error dump ng. Besid C W W capture wlan0 mun. Once you capture the handshake, you can use a dictionary attack to crack the password. Run air cracking with a word list. Bash sudo air cracking, w slash path slash to slash word list dot txt, b capture dash zero one dot cap, replace slash path slash to slash word list dot txt with the path to your word list file, for example rocku dot txe, replace with the Wi Fi network's MAC address, wait for the result. Aircrack Eng will test each password in the word list until it finds the correct one or runs out of options. If successful, it will display the WPA2 password. After you're done, disable monitor mode and restart network services. Stop monitor mode, bash sudo airmon ung. Stop ulan zero mon, restart network services. Bash sudo service network manager, restart. Make sure to emphasize in your video that this tutorial is only for educational purposes and should be used legally on networks you have permission to test. Section 4. Introducing Aircrack NG, your toolkit for Wi-Fi analysis. Aircrack NG stands out as a prominent player in the realm of open-source Wi-Fi security tools. This powerful suite, available for various operating systems, provides a comprehensive toolkit for analyzing and testing Wi-Fi networks. Its primary purpose lies in assessing the security posture of your network by attempting to crack WPA and WPA2 passwords. While Aircrack NG can be a powerful tool for ethical hackers and security enthusiasts, it's essential to remember that using it against networks you don't own or have permission to test is illegal and unethical. The information provided in this guide is for educational purposes only and should only be used within the bounds of the law. Think of Aircrack NG as a high-tech lockpick set. In the right hands, it can be used to uncover vulnerabilities and strengthen security. However, in the wrong hands, it can be used for malicious purposes. Therefore, it's crucial to approach its use with caution and responsibility. Always remember that ethical hacking is about making the digital world a safer place, not exploiting vulnerabilities for personal gain. Section 5. Cracking WPA2 Passwords – A Step-by-Step -step Guide Now let's delve into the step-by-step -step process of cracking WPA2 passwords using Aircrack NG. Keep in mind that this guide is for educational purposes only and should only be performed on networks you own or have explicit permission to test. 
The first step involves identifying the target network. This includes determining its name, or SSID, and the type of encryption used, which is WPA2 in this case. Tools like Aerodump Eng, part of the Aircrack NG suite, can scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks and provide this information. Next, you'll need to capture a handshake between the router and a client device. This handshake occurs when a device connects to the Wi-Fi network and exchanges encryption keys with the router. Aircrack NG can capture this handshake, which contains the encrypted password, through a process called packet sniffing. With the handshake captured, it's time to unleash the power of dictionary attacks. This technique involves using a word list, a pre-compiled list of common passwords, and running it against the captured handshake. Aircrack NG tries each password from the list, attempting to decrypt the handshake and reveal the network's password. The time it takes to crack the password depends on the complexity of the password and the size of the word list used. Simple, commonly used passwords can be cracked in minutes, while more complex passwords can take hours, days, or even longer. Patience is key in this stage, as the decryption process can be time-consuming. Once the password is cracked, if successful, it's crucial to document the findings and report them to the network owner. This report should include details about the vulnerability exploited, the steps taken to crack the password, and recommendations for strengthening the network security. Section 6. Capturing the Handshake, the first step to decryption. Capturing the WPA. Two handshake is a critical step in the password cracking process. This handshake, a series of messages exchanged between a device and the router during the connection process, contains the encrypted password necessary for decryption. Aircrack NG, combined with a compatible wireless network adapter, can be used to capture this handshake. Imagine eavesdropping on a secret conversation where two spies exchange coded messages. The handshake is like intercepting those coded messages. While you might not understand the content immediately, you now possess valuable information that can be deciphered with the right tools and techniques. The process involves putting your wireless adapter into monitor mode, which allows it to capture all network traffic, not just data intended for your device. Once in monitor mode, Aircrack NG can be used to target the specific Wi-Fi network you're interested in and capture the handshake when a device connects or disconnects. This captured handshake is then saved to a file, ready for the next stage, the dictionary attack. Section 7. Dictionary Attacks. Unleashing the power of word lists. With the WPA2 handshake captured, it's time to unleash the power of dictionary attacks. This technique, a cornerstone of password cracking, leverages pre-compiled lists of words, phrases, and common password patterns called word lists. Aircrack NG uses these word lists to systematically try each entry against the captured handshake, hoping to find a match and crack the password. Think of a dictionary attack as trying every key on a giant key ring to unlock a door. Each word in the word list represents a potential key, and Aircrack NG diligently tries each one until it finds the correct key that unlocks the encrypted handshake. The effectiveness of a dictionary attack depends heavily on the quality and size of the word list used. Larger word lists with a wider variety of words, phrases, and character combinations have a higher chance of success. Many online resources offer pre-compiled word lists, or you can create your own tailored to the target network. Remember, the more comprehensive the word list, the higher the likelihood of cracking the password.